Welcome to Creamer Media's Resources Watch, a weekly video roundup of the events and people making and shaping the news in the mining industry. This week, the cost to build base metals mines heads through the roof. It's still early days for gold investment demand, and new BEE coal company Lonto Coal aims to list on the JSE main board. TD Newcrest analyst Greg Barnes says that it's becoming increasingly expensive to bring new base metals operations online, meaning prices will need to be strong to justify new mines. The other issues that we've been fighting with or battling with over the past several years is operating in capital cost inflation. Uh, there's been an endemic across the industry, shortage of people, shortage of equipment, shortage of tyres. Steel prices rising, fuel prices rising. All of those things pushing up metal prices and pushing up our long-term metal price assumptions as well. And these are some of the trends that Rio Tinto pointed out last year in one of their presentations is the capital intensity for new mine development, particularly copper mines. We've seen it run from $4,000, $5,000 a tonne of copper production annually at the beginning of the decade. Now we're getting north of $10,000 a tonne. And in fact, if you look at her, uh, the recent numbers that came out of INMET on that Cobra Panama project, we're looking at north of $15,000 a tonne to build a very large copper mine in a difficult environment, admittedly. As well, given the fact of where these, these copper projects are located, um, they're getting deeper, they're getting lower grade, and they're moving up the cost profile. And you can see that by um, fourth the fourth quartile of the cost curve, more and more of these copper projects are sitting up there, and that's pushing up long-term prices as well. Dundee wealth economist Martin Murenbilt says that the growth and in investment demand for gold is still in its early days and that the price of the precious metal isn't in a bubble. I've seen papers that said gold prices are in a bubble. Yeah, well, you know, yeah, they're, they're, yeah I guess one could make the argument, they, but then you, then you think about it, you know, well, just a minute here, let's, let's inflation adjust what's going on. And it turns out that on an inflation-adjusted basis, of course, gold was up over $2,300 back in January 1980. Okay, so we haven't got to that point. One of my forecasts that has no date to it is that gold will take out its 1980 high on an inflation-adjusted basis. So in other words, we're going to go over this long cycle uh, beyond 2300 But, you know, I'm not smart enough to know why. My point is, if if commodities are going to become an investment asset class, we're looking at a minimum of 3% of the managed space. 3% of 40 trillion is 1.2 trillion, so I think that this thing has a, has a factor of 5 or 6 to go. Okay, That's not going to happen tomorrow, but it's going to happen over time. New coal black economic empowerment company Lonto Coal intends listing on the main board of the JSE this year and having a secondary listing on either the ASX or the Hong Kong exchange. Our aim uh, for 2010 is to list on the main board of the Johannesburg Securities Exchange and within 18 months period thereof to list on either the Australian or the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. We have um, in Fryhead region um, Tobani View Colliery, as uh, we've uh, named it, and that is a anthracite as well as a thermal and coking coal uh, deposit. It's got a total of 66 million tons in resource, and mineable of that is uh, 30 million tons. We also have in the Waterbeck in Lipalale a large-scale project, but we believe long-term, uh, with 648 million tons inferred resource. We also have um, two properties in Zimbabwe, in the Lubimbi coal field, as well as in the Ntua coal field. We are continuing to raise capital through a sale of shares in uh, preparation for the company listing later towards the end of the year on the main board of the Johannesburg Securities Exchange. For mining news as it breaks, stay logged on to miningweekly.com and register for our free daily newsletter.